Uh, I'm here again um, for this 40th something week to talk about waste of the week, and I'll do that now, maybe weigh in on the other issue, uh, which is being very ably handled by Senator Alexander, who is a veteran here and, and uh, knows how to work through these conundrums. Um, Mr. President, with a federal debt that's over, uh, uh, Madam President, a federal debt that's over $19 trillion and growing, it's fitting to take a long look at every penny, every penny that the federal government appropriates to ensure hard-earned taxpayers' dollars are not wasted. And I've been down here week after week after week with examples uh, of waste. And today, for my 41st addition to the Waste of the Week, I'd like to bring attention to an app that the Transportation Security Administration paid IBM more than $47,000 to develop. Now, app is a new word uh, in our lexicon here, but we all carry around uh, uh, these new devices, which uh, we can push a bunch of buttons here and buy certain applications uh, or access to things that make life easier. Traffic on the road or uh, uh, getting the latest ball scores or checking on the weather. I've got a whole bunch of apps in here. Um, I hadn't heard about a, an app uh, that had been developed for the Transportation Security Administration. I'll call it TSA. It's called a randomizer app. And it, just, it does just two things, very simple. Uh, it points an arrow to the right or to the left. Now you would say, now why would anybody need an app, a the device that allows, that randomizes an arrow to the right or an arrow to the left? Well, let's take a look at this picture here. This is obviously a TSA agent incognito, but I, I didn't want to point her out. Uh, TSA agent, this is, I, I, we've all been through this. this. This is the line at the airport uh, those of us who go home every weekend, which I do, back to Indiana um, on Thursday night or Friday, are very familiar with these lines because uh, you gotta go through the security process. And this is a TSA agent with an app, as you can see right here. It's a screen and it has a big arrow. And so, you know, when we walk into Reagan Airport to, for us to, uh, to go home, and I know the presiding officer does the same, goes back to Iowa every week, um, uh, there, are, there are several uh, lanes that you can go down. And usually, uh, almost always, there's a transportation security agent or someone associated with the process here standing at the beginning of those lines and saying, with an arrow, take this one or take this one. Well, for some reason, I won't go into all the details, uh, they didn't want that to be a, an individual decision. So uh, they, they called up IBM and they said, we need to develop an app that will allow us to have a screen that has an arrow pointing to the left or to the right. And it needs to be random. Can't be controlled by this person for whatever reasons. Um, it needs to be random. So, um, okay, maybe there is a rational reason why TSA needs to do that for security purposes. And without divulging what that is and not knowing what that is, uh, I won't get into that. But obviously, it doesn't take a lot of money to develop something, a screen that has an arrow to the left and an arrow to the right, and a little bit of software in the back, just randomizing this so that it's not, so that you can't figure out when it's gonna be left and when it's gonna be right. Um, it does it all by itself. So we did a little research. I wonder how much this would cost. And what we found out is that this is such a simple application that it can be developed uh, by a de developer of apps within a, within a 10 minute period of time. And so um, we paid, TSA paid, taxpayer paid, $47,000 to be able to build a software device, not the device, didn't build the device, to build an app so that had an arrow forcing one way or another. Um, look, that's $47,000 uh, is minuscule compared to what we waste around here. And I've got a chart here that shows uh, uh, well over $160 billion of waste, fraud, and abuse in my, uh, chalked up during my 40 uh, visits down here to the Senate floor to talk about 
various ways that the government wastes taxpayer dollars. But this one, um, this one baffles me because uh, something so simple that takes 10 minutes to produce um, costs $47,000, uh, well above the average uh, income for the average worker in Indiana, and in many cases, uh, significantly more than the TSA agent who's holding it uh, is paid annually for the work that they do. So um, here we are once again, and people say, well, you know, could we have done this in an easier way? Well, how about, how about flipping a coin? That's random. Tails, oh, tails go this lane. Hold on. Heads, you're in this lane. And then you can work it around and so forth and so on. Or how about uh, drawing a slip, of, uh, have a hat. See a person there standing at the line, have a hat with a whole bunch of yes, slips of paper, yes, no, yes, no, left, right, left, right, left, right. And you read, oh, go ahead, put your hand, pull it out. What's it say? Left. That's over there. What's it say? Right over here. Or we could do what I do with my grandkids. Uh, I say, okay, I'm put my fist behind my back. I'm either going to have a one or a two. And they all get all excited and so forth. And the little brother's elbowing his little sister so she won't win. And the, the third child is crying maybe because they're not letting her play. And so grandpa comes up with, okay, what, what uh, Charlie, what, uh, is it a one or a two? Two. Charlie, yay, I won. Oh, his sister starts crying. He went, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> you're going to get your chance. All right. Um, <laughs> Uh, Maggie, uh, you, you, you pick a one or a two. Uh, anyway, we go through, I got 10 grandkids, so I mean, this, this thing takes a long time when we have family uh, reunions. Um, any one of those processes could be used. I think it wouldn't cost $47,000. It wouldn't be $4.70. It's just something that we could do. So, uh, you know, I used to serve as the lead uh, Republican on the Appropriations Subcommittee on Homeland Security. And I know how difficult it is for Homeland Security to fund the critical elements that they need to fund and programs they need to fund in order to keep us secure. And uh, every penny counts, every dollar counts in this uh, regard. But this type of egregious waste has got to stop. And perhaps this time, for TSA to pre-check. We're all familiar with pre-check. Another thing we have to go through, these programs before we fund them. So as we continue to determine funding levels for various government programs and agencies, we must remember projects like TSA's Randomizers app. This is yet another example of why minimizing waste, fraud, and abuse will go a long way to restore trust in government decisions as to how our tax money is spent. Now, I just realized that um, I missed out on naming one of my grandchildren that I played this with. That's Avery, the sister of Charlie, who uh, wants to make sure that she's in the game also. And then I won't go through the other seven. I'll save those for another time. Uh, let me just note that we add more money, ever more money, and examples of taxpayer waste, and we're up to $162,277,955.81. And so um, this is big money, and uh, it's uh, nothing to laugh about. Uh, this is a small example. We've had examples in the billions of dollars. We owe it to the taxpayer. We owe it to the hard-earned taxpayer of the tax dollars that are earned by hardworking taxpayers to be as efficient and effective with the spending of their money as we possibly can 